reorganize and reset. So for the past couple of weeks, I have felt really out of my routine and honestly, I've noticed when I am not in a routine and being consistent, that is when I feel the most lost and just kind of the worst about myself. So I feel like today, instead of waiting for motivation to strike, I'm just gonna take the time to get a little more organized. And I'm so excited to share that this video is sponsored by Notion. I have been using them for years, so I'm gonna show you exactly how I use the app to stay organized and reorganize my life, especially when I feel like I'm getting off track. So let's go. But first, coffee. God, I am such a millennial. <laughs> All right, now that we have our coffee and all is well in the world, I think today I just really wanna focus on three things. One, I need to go to Costco because we have no food in the house and I've been really kind of half-assing it with my diet. A lot of takeout lately, just not feeling great. And I just always feel better when I cook at home. I wanna set some goals, organize my life, do a bit of work on the computer and then I wanna to go to the gym because that always just makes me feel better. One thing I wanna work on a little bit more, which I'm going to outline in my goals, is to make sure I'm getting a minimum of eight to 10,000 steps a day because sometimes when I'm working from home, my pedometer will be like, hey, you got 200 steps today and it's 8 p.m. What are you gonna do about that? And I think that'll make for a good reset. Let's get ready to go to Costco before it gets too busy because I just can't handle it. All right, this is the haul and it's actually not bad. I feel like when you go to Costco, you're you're destined to spend like $400. So this was around 250 Canadian, which is relatively speaking for Costco, not bad. So I just got some chicken breasts. I always get their chicken breasts. This lasts for so many meals. Wild stock eye salmon was on sale. We like to make our very own homemade chipotle bowls. So we got ground beef. These I've seen Alana talk about on her channel and they are like never available. I saw them, so I had to try them. A mix of like zucchini, peppers, broccoli, Greek yogurt, potatoes. When I was in Copenhagen, I had oranges every day with breakfast and I really liked that. So that's why I got these. So I don't know if they're a bit of a blood orange, but they were on sale. The cottage cheese is my staple. I eat this every single day. Eggs, always. I decided to get vanilla because I've been making these protein pancakes quite regularly and I wanted a more vanilla flavor to them. Bananas, spinach for smoothies. I got some broccolini, blueberries as always. When tomatoes are not in season, I always get these because they are the only thing that actually tastes like a garden tomato. They're so good. Leaf lettuce. Jeff really likes this cheese. Grass-fed butter on everything. Jeff really likes this coconut water, so I got more of that for him. All right, so never set goals hungry and just to make it feel a little bit more official since we're gonna be productive right now, resetting, reorganizing our lives, I put on a blazer. I think it's just important to take some time to get your thoughts out, write them down, reflect on what you want and be honest about how things are going. For me, I'm just all over the place and I almost feel like I have no time to take the time to actually sit down and organize my thoughts. And it's because I feel that way, that's how I know that I need to actually take the time and do this. So let's get into exactly how I do that in Notion. So Notion has been my go-to productivity app for years. It's where I write and plan my videos, and it's even where I wrote my low buy journal, which is coming out in 2025. So needless to say, I love Notion. This is the dashboard that I made all by myself. Okay, well not really. I watched a few tutorials and used Notion's new Q&A feature. It's a new AI feature that you can use to help you with pretty much anything. You can ask it questions like, I wanted to know how to add this really cute little weather widget here. So I just hit the space bar and it told me in seconds exactly how to do that. If you're a student or working on some writing, it'll correct spelling and grammar for you. And even here on my goals, I wasn't quite sure how I was gonna map out my system. So I asked the Q&A and it did it for me. 
Like look, it's even telling me exactly what to eat so I can hit my daily protein goals. And then down here I have my calendar, which is really handy because Notion recently released a new calendar function, which allows you to integrate all of your calendars so they're all in one place. It was so easy to set up. I just connected my Google Calendar with literally one click of a button, and now I can see everything right in my Notion dashboard, so it's all in one place and I'm good to go. And it's completely free to use. Oh, I'm not going to the gym at 4 a.m. Let's fix that. I'm not Mark Wahlberg here. If you want a more in-depth Notion tour, then leave me a comment down below and I'll be sure to film that for you. Make sure you try the calendar, and if you want to sign up for Notion's new Q&A feature, I'll leave it all linked in the description below. All right, so now I'm just gonna take a few minutes to write out my goals, write out what I need to do, so I can start creating some systems to actually make them happen. So we don't rise to the level of our goals, we fall to the level of our systems. And that requires some planning and showing up. So that's what I'm gonna take the time to do right now. Okay, so I have written out my goals and I just feel so much better because I not only was able to sort of brainstorm them out and get my ideas out somewhere onto paper, but I also used the Q&A feature to help me create my system to actually do it. So if you don't have like the brain to think about it, try that and it wrote it out for me in literally seconds. I also wanted to get back on track of making sure I'm hitting my daily protein targets because I've been slacking on that and it's really affecting my performance at the gym and even my level of hanger. Like I just feel, I don't know, like when I'm eating properly and regularly, I just feel so much more like emotionally regulated and I am just like a much more pleasant person. I even said I needed some help in making sure I'm hitting my step count goal of 10,000 steps a day. And it's suggesting to try taking short walks during your lunch break or after dinner, which I have heard, and yes, that's so good for you. So with this goal, I'm gonna write out a very specific action plan so that I know what I'm gonna do next time I eat lunch and I wanna get my steps in. And I like to frame it in a will statement rather than I want to or I should or I'll try to. When I say I will do something, it's a lot less half-assed, it's more concrete, and I think you're more likely to actually do it. So after eating lunch, I will go for a walk for 15 to 20 minutes outside. I will listen to a podcast while I do this, just to make it a little bit more incentivized. And this is feeling good. I just feel like I have some more direction that I can take, and I really think for a lot of the times when you're feeling lost, it's just like showing up, taking, even if it's 15 minutes to get your ideas out somewhere, you can use Notion, you can use a journal, whatever kind of works for you. I think it just helps sort of release some tension and some weight and just gives you a little bit more direction so you know the next steps you wanna take. I get questions, do I wear blazers in the house? I mean, sometimes, but we're done. We're done now. <laughs> This is a protein pancake that I have been making for like the past month now since I discovered it because I wanted to minimize the amount of like synthetic protein supplements that I've been taking. So like protein powder, protein bars. So this is all real food. It works well. It's so easy to make and it actually tastes good. I'll show you how I do it. my gym gear game and I got this hoodie from Aritzia it's like a cropped hoodie it doesn't have any pockets or anything and it has this kind of like bigger collar it reminds me of the one from Lululemon but just like at a I think a better price point and it still makes you feel really like you know nice and sucked in and contoured I've been wearing this to the gym a lot and my hoodie from cotton those are my favorites right now I'm gonna layer a jacket over this. There's the full gym fit to give you a better idea. I'm working out in the Lululemon Align Leggings. These are not good if you like lifting. You can see how pretty bad 
the pilling is on these. I misused these. These are meant for more like yoga and lounging, but I want to replace these because literally all of mine are pilling. Some of them I've even got holes in the knees. Let me know your favorite brand of leggings. I was thinking about Gymshark because all the fit girls seem to really like it. Wearing them out until they go, but not the greatest, especially if you are getting into weightlifting. So it's not going to the gym that is a habit that I'm trying to build. I feel like I've really dialed that one in and I love it. It's the cardio. I really don't like running and my endurance is really bad, which is probably why I avoid doing it. Even though if you wanna get better, you have to do it. So we're gonna do it today. I'm gonna to be vlogging, so I'm taking you with me. I just got home so I'm going to make some dinner and now I want to do an everything shower because we're just gonna stay in keeping with this reset day and the running was actually not bad I feel like I make it harder for myself than it needs to be I didn't stay in zone 2 I went to like a higher heart rate for most of it so that's something that I need to work on controlling but yeah it felt good I just put on some YouTube videos and by the time they were over my run was done so I think this is a habit that I just need to like start doing and getting over that mental block and kind of stack it with something that I like doing, like watching YouTube videos. So instead of doing it on the couch, I'll do it on the treadmill. hair mask in I'm gonna let that base and I'm just gonna do my skincare I'm just doing a layer of moisturizer because the hair mask is gonna rinse out probably onto my face I'm just using the Tolerane Nui line this is amazing for sensitive skin if you have acne rosacea reactive skin eczema so good if your skin just gets pissed off easily okay. 